Happy Friday, Falcons, and happy first week of Easter to you. I greet you today from the historic Five Points area in downtown Albemarle of Stanley County, about 15 to 20 minute drive from our beautiful historic campus in Meisenheimer. Now, for those of you who haven't tuned in in a while, fear not. Our operation in Meisenheimer remains as vibrant and as lovely as ever. And in fact, in the fall, we had more students walking those hallowed grounds than at any point since the dawn of the 2008-2009 Great Recession. Pfeiffer's more committed than ever to providing young persons with a nurturing and challenging experience that is grounded in the liberal arts tradition and propelled by a wonderfully innovative engaged faculty and staff on our beautiful campus in the village. Many of you tune into these updates in order to receive updates on Pfeiffer's response to the coronavirus pandemic and the uh, related uh, effects of that pandemic. I want you to ponder for a moment that this is an update, an update about a university that dared to dream to deeply impact via healthcare uh, a community uh, in need of more physician assistants, more occupational therapists, and more nurses. Pfeiffer launched a nursing program five years ago. 100% of graduates in the class of 2019 in the area of nursing passed the licensure exam on the first attempt. With that success in mind, we now move forward with educating another set of workers that will be on the front lines if and when another pandemic ever strikes our region, our country, our globe. Even so, I wanted to provide you with an update on the construction of our 43,000 square foot, four story Center for Health Sciences located in the downtown Albemarle area a center in which we will deliver two programs, a Master's of Physician Assistant Studies and a Master's in Occupational Therapy. The center, now one of the architectural centerpieces of a downtown that is being revitalized in lots of ways, will be the site wherein students take courses from faculty members in areas such as microbiology, epidemiology and biostatistics. Can you imagine a more timely course? The physician assistant, delivering health care in America and beyond. On the second floor, in the occupational therapy department, how about gross anatomy? Or a class called movement, occupation, and participation. The work that occupational therapists do with patients either on the side of preventive care or in situations requiring rehabilitation, is renowned for its impact in drastically lowering patients' readmission rates to hospitals. Persons who are strong enough and healthy enough and moving well enough to enjoy life and enjoy community while limiting future trips to the emergency room are happy, more engaged citizens of Stanley County and we therefore have a happier Pfeiffer University. The Center for Health Sciences, constructed with precision and passion by our friends from Stanley County, Stokes Construction, will be an architectural gym and a first class facility in which Pfeiffer students will be well educated. I could not be more proud that if and when another pandemic should strike us, Pfeiffer educated physician assistants and occupational therapists will join Pfeiffer educated nurses, Pfeiffer educated teachers, Pfeiffer educated healthcare administrators, and all Pfeiffer alumni in making a significantly positive impact in this community and in all communities. This is a shining example to me of the kind of innovative change that can be brought about when a faculty, staff, alumni base, other partners join with a community and dream and put hands and feet to that dream 
to serve the other. Thank you for joining us this Friday. We hope you continue to have a good Easter season in the midst of a turbulent time for our country. And go Falcons!